Hello there everyone and welcome back. So today guys we're gonna do an unprofessional car detail on this brand new Volkswagen Passat and uh, I'm just gonna show you what tools I'm using and uh, first of all I'm gonna spray the wheels with um, well the tires themselves with the all, an all-purpose cleaner and I'm using a rag to wipe them down because I don't have any brushes in hand and I'm using an acid-based wheel cleaner to spray the wheels wheel barrels and everything and we're using uh, the, the strength of the acid cleaner just to clean the wheels and um, we're not going to agitate them because the wheel acid based wheel cleaner does the job itself and we're just going to wipe down the wheel with a microfiber cloth at, at the end and Arnold here just to prove the cleanliness of the wheels and I think he was happy so this is our setup today so right now we're gonna rinse the car off first um, using the pressure. The car is just uh, lightly dusty and is not really contaminated that much. But uh, either way, we're just gonna rinse the car off, get the dust off, and we're gonna use turtle, turtle waxes, ceramic wax, uh, car soap, and um, we're gonna use a one bucket, one microfiber mid, uh, method. Um, and I'm gonna use the pressure washer to rinse off the uh, microfiber wash mitt. And this is just the basic Archer pressure washer. I'm not sure about the pressure. Um, as it is not my pressure washer, it's my ounce. So it's my family member's car and uh, I'm using their tools and their chemicals to clean the car. That's what I call it a non-professional car wash, but yet we're still using some professional principles like uh, wiping down the car in straight motions. And right now, as you can see, I dropped the mitt on the floor, which is fine, and I busted it out with the um, Karcher pressure washer, and then I put it in a bucket of water again to saturate with car soap. And uh, obviously, I'm gonna do it for each panel. I'm gonna rinse off the wash mitt and to try to retain the concentration of the car soap the most I can. And I put quite a bit of it in there. So, well, now I'm just rinsing out the remains of the car soap. The car soap itself isn't that much sudsy. And uh, yeah, now we're using turtle waxes, wax it wet. It's cheap chemical, cheap car soap, cheap car wax, not car soap. But basically, I'm using just one wash mitt. And as soon as it gets really, really wet, I'm just gonna, you know, rinse it. I'm um, not rinse it, but I'm just gonna. Um, get rid of the water by just squeezing it and uh, just gonna do it as, long, as, as soon as it, it gets saturated and I'm gonna use this uh, drying, drying agent which is this product that I showed you guys and um, it's quite good uh, I've noticed that I did leave some streaks behind because, um, but that was okay so our third step is the touch up a stage and I'm gonna start um, from the window so I have a damn microfiber towel which is the green and it's quite damp and I'm using a, um, a non damp microfiber towel to wipe the window down um, from what was remaining from the green one I'm just using water to wipe down the windows uh, to you know just to get rid of all the streaks that might have been left from the wash and just finesse the windows at this point and I always start with this so now we're just using the same dry microfiber towel used previously for the body panels and I'm just literally using it as a spray wax. Um, sometimes I had to buff it out, sometimes I didn't, um, it all depended. I really expected the vehicle thoroughly but some, as soon as the cloth got a little bit more damp or I put too much product in, um, I had to buff it off. It's a like an off-label use basically because I didn't really have any spray wax in hand but it did a good job as a spray wax too. It, it was it was easy to apply. It kind of flashed. Um, it didn't flash on you. It evaporized from the panel quite quick. I used it on the wheels as, as well and did a really nice job. And uh, the wheels were really clean from the acid cleaner. Um, it even cleaned the wheel barrel uh, with no physical touch. Now I'm applying just the tire cleaner and tire dressing from DAC, it's a local um, company and that makes chemicals I think in Lithuania. And these are the finishing results guys, I mean I didn't really use a lot of 
detailing tools here, but um, you know, I use a rack to clean the tires, which is a big no-no. And you know, I would prefer a brush, but I did what I uh, I did what I did, and I had what I had to do it. So, but you know, my relative really doesn't care much about it. So anyway, um, but you can still do a decent job anyway. As you can see, the paint is shiny and uh, the car is clean, legitimately. Um, so thank you for watching the videos and like and subscribe and I'll catch you in my next videos.